Happy Sunday, you guys. It is Sunday fun day, and I figured what better time to test out the new BH Cosmetics brunch collection. They have three new palettes that they just released. Um, I personally love BH Cosmetics, and I was really excited when I saw this collection because it had a lot of really interesting um, colors that they haven't done necessarily in all of their other palettes. Definitely have had um, certain green and pink shades that have stuck out, but these uh, two palettes are really centraled around those two colors, and I kind of love it. Uh, so we've got the Avocado Toast. We've got the Mimosa and we've got, actually it's Weekend Vibes Mimosa, sorry. No, that's the collection, it's Weekend Vibes. I'm, I'm good guys, I promise, I'm, I'm with it. Um, and then the Belgium Waffle Face Palette. Yes, that one. And the Waffle Face Palette comes, I believe, with three bronzing shades and three highlight shades. Yep. Oh man, I didn't even pull off any of the tags or anything. Great start. This is like super glued. <gasps> Why you do this? Apparently you need a nuclear engineering degree to open this, this little man's. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we've got, in this we've got like a light, I would call it more of like a neutralizing shade, buttermilk, we've got batter, which is a medium shade, cinnamon, which is a slightly darker shade in the bronzing areas. Then we have powdered sugar, syrup, and maple in the highlight shades. All of them are really nice golden, uh, right on that theme of waffles those pretty uh, pretty buttery brown colors. I'm pretty excited for this. I personally really love um, using bronzers instead of contour just because it winds up being a little bit softer and my skin tone is very light. So yeah, I typically do that. So I, that's why I, I picked him up. But the real things that I'm excited for are our mimosa palette and our avocado toast palette. Now what I wanted to do for this particular look is to do one eye uh, green and one eye pink because I wanted to highlight the entire collection instead of a lot of times we'll break it down and we'll do like a couple days in a row, we'll do each of the palettes. And I just wanted to be like, no, let's show everything in one. Let's do one fail swoop. So um, I did grab one of the old uh, similar and different collection, but similar the idea behind it. They do these little collections where they release like three of these little uh, square palettes at a time. And I have uh, at least, I don't know if they've done only three, but I have at least two full sets already. So, um, and this one was blushing in Bali and I just grabbed that because I needed a blush shade and I was like, let's just throw this one in there. So I've been uh, talking a whole lot, so let's do some bronzing. It's funny because I'm not really a brunch person. Like I just, I, I'm not a breakfast foods person. So I would rather just skip straight into lunch and just do it that way. I'm going in with cinnamon, which is the darkest shade. We're gonna just try it. It's still pretty light. Oh yeah. Very soft, very neutral, really lovely. I also really like these collections because they're normally very easy to work with, easy to blend out. They have a good color payoff. I'm liking it. But anyway, so I'm not really a brunch person, but um, the whole idea of the collection, I was like, that's so cute. And then I was like, well, it's Sunday. So like Sunday brunch, I mean, it, you know, 2020 is not really a Sunday brunch year, but the idea is still there. Alrighty, got some contour on, sweet. Uh, the blush is not really important. I will tell you guys what it is, just so you guys have an idea of what the full look it's going to be created with. And I believe one of the palettes that I have, I brought on with me, I brought with me to vacation last year and I um, dropped it and sliced nicely into one of the shades and I was heartbroken. I believe it was this palette. It was, yes it was. See, he's just all gnarly. He looks like he's like been through some stuff. But we're actually gonna go in with Coral, which is the center shade. Um, I think that's going to be a nice kind of reflection of the whole vibe of this, this look. And I've recently been doing just a touch on my nose too for like the whole e-girl effect. <laughs> so here we are. Speaking of TikTok, we, I don't know how these are gonna post. We filmed it yesterday. Hopefully we can get it up Friday. We did just do the second part of our mega haul. If it isn't up yet, um, I will spoil some of it. I bought some stuff from The Ordinary, which is a new skincare, well, I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. Uh, it's a newer to me skincare line that TikTok has talked a good amount about. Super affordable. They have a, a ton of different formulas. I actually first saw it because of the hyaluronic acid, which if you guys do skincare regularly, you buy fancy skincares, you know, normally those are pretty pricey. I mean, we're talking normally like 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks sometimes, depending on the brand you're buying. The Ordinary sells these guys for like six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars $10. Some of their really expensive formulas are like 28, which is still pretty on par for 
skincare and it's like super good quality. I wasn't, I was a little worried. I got uh, the hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, a caffeine, um, I don't know what to call it, serum, I guess we will, we'll call it. Cause it's not like a, it's not like a mask or anything. It's definitely something that you leave on your skin. And then I got a peeling mask and I used all three of them today. When I got from work and showered, I put on the caffeine mask. Then I went to sleep for a little bit. I woke up, I washed my face again. I did the peel off mask and then I did the hyaluronic acid under it. And I really like how everything turned out. So I think I'm gonna do a video about that too, just to show you guys. Cause I really was pretty impressed with how good the quality seemed. I mean, I know I have to use it a little bit more regularly, but I was, I was nervous about the peeling mask and it worked out pretty nicely. So today I'm trying to figure out which, which color I'm vibing. I'm going between, I wanna do, I think either powdered sugar or syrup. Those are the two lighter shades. Maple's a little bit darker and I think I wanna keep it a little bit light. I think I'm gonna go in with powdered sugar. This is the one that's catching my eye the most. It is, it's very um, pink, if that makes sense. And maybe that's why I'm liking it for today's feel, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I love it. Holy cow. <gasps> I love it. I really genuinely like BH Cosmetics. Like I just, they're one of those brands when they post or po when they post, when they um, release new palettes, it's hard for me not to buy them because they're so affordable. I mean, full price, this whole collection, each palette was $18. Those are some of their steeper priced palettes in my opinion, but like, it's so worth it. I mean, and they put them on sale so regularly too. Like one of my favorites from, a similar collection was the Hanging in Hawaii and that one is on sale at Ulta currently for eight bucks. So I just love them. Okay, face is done. Let's move on to eyes. So we're gonna start with Avocado Toast and we're gonna do this one on this eye. I don't know why, but we're gonna do this one on this eye. We're gonna do this one, the mimosa on that eye. So Avocado Toast, here's what I'm thinking for my mans over here. Lots of really pretty colors, very good job of highlighting those greens. I'm thinking we're gonna go in with Avo Toast, first. And then I think we're gonna do Superfood as like a darker shade under that. We're going to do, God, I don't even know. There's a couple pretty ones. We're gonna do Haas probably as our glitter shade today. And then we're probably gonna do Pink Salt as either Pink Salt or Over Easy, maybe Over Easy, cause that would, I think, keep it in line with the green and not bring in too much pink. Cause I really want pink to be the other eye. Um, and then I think either Lemon Pepper or Avocado are going to be used as like a highlight shade. So let's, let's do this, let's do this. That's my game plan for this eye. Let's jump into it. So Avo Toast, we're just gonna do it really wide all the way out. I love it, oh, so pretty. And it's funny, cause I have actually, I know I don't wear green eyeshadow that often. I've done a couple looks with it, especially on the channel. I've tried to really incorporate it more. Um, so it does get a little bit of love, but I don't, I can't think of a palette that I have that has the green in it that really has a shade that's similar to this. It's just a really nice kind of cross between a light green and almost like an army green, like a like a really light. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know, I'm rambling, it's fine. But really pretty and just applying so easily. I mean, you guys can see I'm, I'm really not trying that hard and it seems to be pretty even and pretty well applied too, so. I really, it's it's hard honestly to do first impressions unless this, there's like something really off with BH. Their formula is always good. So it's not really like, it's like, do I like the colors is more what it is. It's not like, is this a good palette? Because no, I really have never bought a palette from them that's bad, which is a good, that's a good thing. Um, I will say they always have a lot of fallout on their pans. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he's like, oh, he's dusty, dusty. But I don't normally see a lot on my face. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, so now that we got that in there, let's go in. I'm gonna go in with the Dark Shade Superfood and I'm going to put that all over my eye and we will do cut crease. I found it's just easier to keep it all clean. I'll do a little half cut crease and we will apply our glitter that way. I also have to say I really like the names. The names are... My mom just said Ipsy's here. Yay, Ipsy! <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me because it's not like we can't cut it out. She's, but she just keeps yelling up the stairs and I'm, I don't even know if audio is picking up, but I just, I found it funny. But yay, Ipsy, I don't know if the, but. Hey mom, we're filming. <laughs> I feel like that's like, like how r slash does like puppy bloopers. That's what that was. Mommy bloopers. Mom, mommy bloopers. <laughs> I'm liking everything that's going on right over in this general vicinity. I'm, I'm digging this this feel so far. I really like it. There's part of me that's like, I wanna switch to this eye and see like what happens and then do all of that, which I think I'm gonna do. I know that seems disjointed, like why not finish with one palette? But then like when I do the cut crease and it's just easier if I do, I I just need to do it this way guys, I'm sorry. So we're switching, we're switching gears. Mimosa. 
So here's what the plan is for Mimosa. I'm going in with, I think the best color to do uh, is going to be Guava as the wide one, followed by Raspberry as the one on my lid. Then we're gonna go in with Pop on our lid after we do the cut and then um, probably blend it out with Vibes, which is kind of like a peachy pink, probably highlight with bubbly, which is kind of like a champagne-y color. So yes, let's, let's do that now. Let's do this. Guava, here we come, let's go. I feel like the mimosa names were just kind of more generic, like brunch type names. Whereas the uh, the avocado toast, it was really like here, like we're gonna do like really avocado themed names, like guacamole and superfood and, Cause these are, I mean, these are cute, definitely cute names, but there's like, I heart or we heart brunch. And then they've got some random ones. Maybe that's what it is. Like vibes and sunny. Love this color. I love the contrast of the pink and the green together. I'm I'm really digging this whole different colored eye vibe. That's that's a trend that's going on. I love, I love the feel of it. I think it's adorable. I, I love it. There's part of me that really wants to, oh, I have to tell you guys, I don't know because my phone crashed. I'm gonna do more research, but I think Arctic Fox may actually be sold at Ulta right now. I'm, I, it would be smart because um, if people are like us, they're still self-isolating um, and trying to stay out of public as much as possible. And I would rather order stuff from Ulta because you guys know I get my points. I love my points, I use my points. So yeah, I would, I would much rather order from Ulta if I had the option to, because normally I buy it from Sally Beauty. So if that's the case, I'm excited. Alrighty, so we got uh, guava, is, mm, it's a little bit, it's a little janky right now, but we'll fix it up later. But pretty good base of guava. Once again, really like the shade of it. It did a really good job of applying very easily. Um, it's a little bit messier over here, but I can go touch that up later. So I'm not concerned with it. We're just gonna move on to raspberry and we are gonna do that on the eye, just like we did superfood. Oh, that one's pretty, that one's actually a lot pinker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a, almost a deep, deep, deep pink, almost a red, but it's not, it's very bright. The way, okay. Let's go in and do a little bit of raspberry and a little bit of guava under the eye too. And then we will get out our handy dare, handy dandy, handy dandy concealer, handy dandy concealer, and we will do the cut crease. While that is happening, I'm gonna send Nikki downstairs to see if both Ipsies are here so we can film that. So we'll be right back. I am feeling, feeling this vibe right now. I love it. I, I am so excited. I feel like a watermelon. I don't, I, it's so summery. It's so precious. I love it. I love everything about it. I was trying to like match my shirt to like the green, but it's like the wrong green, but I don't even care. It's just, ah, oh, I love this whole vibe. Okay, let's shut up. Let's, I, I'm into it. I'm into it. If you guys can't tell, I'm feeling the brunch. BH, I love your brunch. It's delicious. Okay, let's go. What did I say we were gonna do? We're gonna do Haas for the green eye look in terms of glitter. We're gonna do Pop in the pink. Honestly, don't even think, I know I mentioned the blending shades. I don't think I'm gonna use those. I think I'm just gonna use the highlight shades because they really are very nice in this area. I don't wanna like mess them up. I'm, I'm feeling everything that's happening. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. All right, this one is Haas. Jumping back to green. Oh, it's pretty, it's dark. Which is, I mean, like I didn't know what I, to, what else should I have expected? It looked dark in the pan, but like it is, it is definitely a dark one, but it's got really nice gold reflecting properties in it. And so it's almost two tones in the light. I don't know if it's appearing on camera, but like as I move my head, it's like, oh, it looks really dark. And then it turns and it's like, oh no. Nope, there's the gold. There's, there's the, bringing home the gold. There are a couple colors in the palettes that I feel like I probably won't get a lot of use out of and that makes me sad. I'm gonna do my, my damnedest to, that's like one of the things with, especially with a channel, like challenging myself to actually use more of the colors in all the palettes that I buy. Cause a lot of times what happens is there's like three or four or even five or six in a palette that I really love. And it's like, I'm gonna buy them for that. And then I neglect all the other colors. So the one that I looked at looking at that was spicy, which is kind of like, it's kind of like a purpley brown glitter shade, dark, dark shade, pretty. But I just don't feel like I'm gonna use it that often. So I'm gonna make myself use it. I love it. I love it. This is, this turned out phenomenal. I'm so happy right now. Going in with pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Whoa, okay. Yep, like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, this is the wrong brush for that. I was trying to like get a similar br brush, but it's just not the right one. So, but the, the, oh yeah, not the right brush. But the shade, holy crap. This may be one of my favorite pink glitter shades that I have in my entire collection. I can't think of another one that I've responded to. Maybe the Pure Times Barbie palette had one in it that I really liked too. That's, that would probably be the closest response I had to this. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. I am so about this. This is amazing. I am gonna go in with a different brush though because it's just really being annoying. That just, I'm not, not a fan. Oh, I love, I love, I love everything that happened with this look. I'm so excited. I really wasn't expecting it to turn out this good. And then the Ipsy showed up, which means we get to film the Ipsy's while I'm using, I'm wearing these eyes and I love, I love it. Well, I'm wearing, I just said, well, I'm wearing these eyes. Like I stole someone else's eyes and now I'm wearing them. So let's do the highlight shades. I'm going in with Avo Cuddle. Very neutral, very pretty. It still has a little bit of green in it. Love it. I have like 17,000 brushes on my desk right now. Cause I was trying to like use different ones that were similar to each other for each of the looks. And it's just a mess and I need to wash them all. But here we are. Oh, sorry, that one was a uh, bubbly. That is the neutral, the most neutral shade, I would say in the um, the Mimosa palette. And it's also gorgeous. Same thing, very, very uh, muted in terms of like the color aspects of it, but there's just a little bit of that central theme color popping out that I really, really like. I really think it gives a cohesiveness to the palette. All right, I'm gonna do some mascara off uh, camera and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see this final look that I just absolutely am in love with. I just, I, I do, I love it so much. It's great, it's, it's beautiful. All right, be right back. Okay, here, I I don't know what to say besides I love it. You guys heard me say it a thousand times in this video already. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I like the look. I'm excited that it turned out as good as I was hoping it would. BH is just so good for the money. I, I come back to that. I Obviously we're small as crap, so it's not like we're sponsored by them. That's just my genuine opinion. There are certain brands that are super affordable, have super consistent quality. I think Makeup Revolution is the same way. I've heard, I've heard a little bit of, of a different opinion on that one, but I think most people really like BH Cosmetics if they try it. I love them. I love it. Happy brunching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed brunching with me. Hopefully uh, you guys are staying safe and, and as socially distant as you feel is necessary in the time. Uh, my paranoid ass is avoiding everybody. I go to work in the middle of the night and that's about it. So this was a nice little like, oh yeah, you remember brunch? That was that was a thing we used to do back in the the, ni the 19s, the, in, in the 2019s. Yeah, so cool, cool. Other than that, I hope you guys, oh, well actually wait, if you liked the video, maybe give, maybe give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot to me. And then if you like us and you like me, I don't know why, but maybe you should subscribe because that would also mean a lot to me. So yeah, now I'm done. I hope you guys have a great day and stay girly with a dark twist.